Right folks, this project is to build a pull-out bed with interlocking slats. You often find these in motor caravans, but I'm doing this for the spare room, which is quite narrow. I've decided to make the bed two foot six wide or 76 centimeters, because you can buy a standard mattress for that. I've made the frame using Craig pocket screws, which are quite a strong construction. And I'm now about to build the top and I've had to have a rethink of that because when you extend the sliding slats on one of these beds it's a little bit less than double the width. Now I, a double the width of two foot six is obviously five foot. So what I've had to do is rip down some timber which I'm about to do now and uh, that should get me near as damn it up to five foot or I can get I'll get 58 to 59 inches out of it. Um, if I use the standard wood, these three by ones, I'm going to lose about four inches of width of the bed when it converts into double mode. So by ripping this down to the width of the two by two, I should gain a few more inches and I will show you that when I build it. Okay, so I've now built the sliding section as a separate unit. Let me just show you exactly what I've done. You can see I've got the long cross pieces here, which really should be beeswaxed because that really uh, helps to um, reduce the friction. The sliding parts here, I've chamfered the underneath edge of every one. If you have two square edges butting up against each other, i.e. here to here, they tend to lock and uh, and jam. If you chamfer them, chamfer that, and I've done a slight chamfer on this, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, they will ride over one another. These are the moving slats, and underneath I've cut down a piece of wood which runs the whole length of the bed. And when we come to the other end, I've got a piece of two by two fixed to the fixed slats, and another piece of two by two fixed to the end slats. Now this will eventually have legs on it. I'm not putting them on yet because I've got some casters on order so the bed can be moved around and then I'll know the exact uh, length. What I would say, the legs that you fix on here should be about five mil shorter than the height of the bed because you really need to tip down this part of it, the moving part, so it rides up over the back. Now my next plan then is to move these into the bedroom, hinge this, this will be hinged onto the base unit so the whole thing can lift up. Right, so that's the top of the bed now, the moving unit onto the base. It's temporarily fixed with a couple of screws. I'm going to fix hinges, but I'm going to assemble it in situ because it's out of a weight to carry up the stairs on my own. So to give you an idea how it works, I'll put a handle on here. It needs all sanding down, obviously. There we go. And to put it back, is the reverse. There you go. Now what I'll probably do is fix some strips over the movable slats to make sure they don't drop down to catch the square edge. It's got movement in it at the moment, so it's easy enough to put back. It was uh, caught, caught there because I was trying to do it with one hand because I'm holding the camera. But I'm going to give that a whirl as well. So, so far, good progress. Right, folks, the bed is in place. And I've just sprayed silicon lubricant on it and that makes a huge difference to the, the friction where the wood rubs uh, against each of the other pieces. So basically, I've still got to do some fine tuning on this. Now it slides very easily. Now, one of the problems, well, it's not really a problem, but I don't like it, is that the sliding bit can fall down there. 
I don't like that, so what I'm going to do, and I'll show you later, is put some metal strips on the movable pieces so they can't go down. But I'll leave a gap so it doesn't rub. But now, since I've sprayed it with silicon, that runs really nicely and easily. So, I mean, pull it out to its full width. And you can see that piece of wood there is the stop. I've got to put the legs on. Now when you're making this, there's a couple of design things I'll point out the potential problems. These movable pieces chamfer the underneath here, chamfer this side here, so they ride over each other. So two square edges butting up, tend to catch as I said earlier. Originally I was going to use these three by twos across the earlier. That would have made me lose the width of this bed by, I, I would have said maybe six inches. So what I've done, I've ripped one of these three by twos down to one inch and used a piece of two by two here, which has gained me uh, three, four inches in, in, tra in travel. So now the bed is actually 58 inches wide, which is just short, obviously, of five foot. And I'm gonna have two two foot six mattresses on there. So let's put it back and I'll show you the hinge system. Said the room was narrow. So you push it back and it rides over there. Now to access the underneath, you can see where I put the hinges at the ends and in the middle. So I've got two things to do now. I need to put the legs on here and I need to put some metal strips over here uh, so it doesn't fall down. I'll do that now and then I'll just record that for you. Okay, I put those metal brackets on that I was talking about. They're basically uh, nail connectors that you'd use on joists, but a couple of washers underneath. Put one on this side and that side and it slides like a dream. This is the best it's actually been. Right, after a little bit of a think, I fitted casters to the bed. Originally, I put the casters on and found that the uh, lack of friction on the casters meant that I couldn't pull the top out without the whole bed moving. But since I've put that silicon spray on it, the friction has been reduced so much on the sliders that it's feasible now to have the whole bed on casters so I can move it for access for cleaning the floor underneath. So I put a handle on. And that is absolutely perfect. I'm delighted with that. That works better than I expected. I hope the video was of use to you. If you liked it, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.